Merck could give doctors another potent virus fighting tool. Its COVID-19 antiviral pill reduced the risk of hospitalization or death by 50% in an interim analysis of a late stage trial. The company is halting the study and will seek an emergency use authorization from the FDA as quickly as possible. That's according to the CEO. Merck also plans to submit applications to regulators in other countries. The decision to stop the research was made at the recommendation of an independent committee and in collaboration collaboration with the FDA. If authorized, the pill could become an important new tool for the treatment of COVID-19, while drugs known as monoclonal antibodies are available to stave off more severe infections. They can be difficult to administer, and demand for them has surged during the recent spike in virus cases fueled by the Delta variant. If this all pans out as what Merck is telling us with their, with their recent release of data, this is huge. This is a huge game changer. Because as you mentioned, right now, we really have two things we reach for to treat persons who have COVID. First of all, monoclonal antibodies, and that is well positioned, similar to this new drug. And essentially what it does is it says, okay, when you start your onset of symptoms, we're going to go ahead and get you some treatment to try and reduce the likelihood you have very severe disease ending in hospitalization or death. In addition, we have remdesivir. Now that is really only available to people who are once hospitalized. This oral pill, again, the other two remdesivir and monoclonal antibodies are intravenous. So this oral pill can be easily administered in this trial, uh, phase three trial that the data they released, they had participants taking the medication within five days of onset of symptoms, and they saw 14% of persons in the placebo arm compared to 7% of persons in the treatment arm ended with hospitalization or death. So that's a substantial reduction if we think about the strain our healthcare system has been under in different parts of our country at different times, even with the vaccine available, this could really just ease those tensions and help bolster our healthcare system if people are willing to take this medication after they become symptomatic with COVID and if they're at high risk for uh, worse outcomes. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.